Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 15 October. We're halfway through October, people. Unbelievable. It's Halloween is right around the corner. Uh, anyway, let's talk about uh, how things look at the European Open here. London walks in in one hour's time. Quiet night in Euro uh, overnight. Not much happening there, but in cable... Uh, there was an article in The Guardian that just kind of alleged progress. Uh, I'm sorry, it was in The Telegraph. Uh, alleged progress. This came out around 10.30 p.m. Swiss time last night. And we've been kind of on the bid side ever since. Uh, we talked about this before. In-house here, we're long Sterling Swiss. Um, you want to try and get some of this on dips. We talked about 04 yesterday. Uh, the low is 05. We did not buy any down there. Uh, we were a bit nervous. We're already core long. So the risk reward, well, let's face it, it just looked real awful down there. And, and I already have these core on, so we just left it alone. But my, my, 05, the low. We nailed it. We nailed it verbally didn't profit from it as much as we should have uh, but anyway we're still core long sterling swiss we still do like the idea that this could come to some sort of either moderately positive outcome um, or a kick the can down the road which will take hard brexit off the table and keep sterling on the bid side core long sterling products so either cable short euro sterling or long sterling swiss uh, we like this let's talk about dollar cad uh, we talked about fading this uh, between 35 and 55 35 5 was the high so you, maybe you got tiny out but you still this still has some room to create a little bit of pain after friday's employment numbers we do think this is probably going to take a trip back up to 70 uh, but we do like fading dollar CAD, selling high ones in dollar CAD today, between 35 and 55 the same. If you sold 35s, you can just trade for a better average. Um, looks like we're going to do consolidation here before we take the next leg lower. Let's have a look at our pals, the Boons. Pretty quiet day yesterday. We did sell. Um, some 84s yesterday the high was 94 and we bought 60s core short boons trading around that position using the PL to smooth out the inevitable volatility that is to come on the deck contract here this well 172 handle looks pretty important 40 basis points is going to be 171.50 in boons but core short fixed income uh, we like this. Let's take a look at the stock market. Uh, pretty quiet overall. We had that sort of negative news out of China. Kind of the, uh, you know, we're going to squeeze America. We're not sure we're going to sign anything new. As we went down to 29.54, back at 73. As we spoke about yesterday, we're in the middle of nowhere here. So you want, you're a casual short. Um, the risk ward is not great. Uh, downside uh, is our preferred side, but this is a news trade. It's news driven. So you got to either catch a good tweet uh, or catch something from South China Daily. Uh, catch a piece of news that's going to drive this lower. Either China's walking out or Trump says F you or um, that's the best way. Uh, to trade this and if you're just going to trade it technically you're really in the middle of nowhere you need to wait you need to wait till you're up near uh, 29.95 uh, 3010 to put any kind of proper position on so we have a south side bias but we're not doing much here in ES everything else pretty quiet you see Aussie here 64.88 overnight not doing too much our friend dollar czar we caught that on uh, Friday. Um, that down move through 1501. 
now it's just consolidating. It could go either way. If we do get risk off, we'll re retrace this bar. Um, but if we do get risk on, this will continue. We don't really see support in this until 1430. So if you're still short from Friday and you've been trading around this, well done. Uh, we just took the money. You see a 1% move. Typically, we just grab it in FX. Um, but it's inconclusive here. Looks like it probably wants to go a little bit lower. Uh, if we get a little bit of risk on, this could happen. Not much else to say today. Let's take a look at the calendar. Um, we do have French CPI here, uh, which is should come out on the low side. Inflation numbers out of the UK, which is all secondary because of Brexit. And then we have Zoo out of Germany. So the Zoo will be slightly interesting. Um, the surprise on this will be top side. Everyone's expecting negative stuff out of Germany. Um, if this comes in stronger, Euro uh, should get a lift. But in general, not a whole lot to sink our teeth into today. We're continuing on some of the same themes, trying to stay long sterling products, trying to stay short fixed income, um, and we are looking to sell high ones in dollar CAD. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.